What's up guys, Zach here at Kentucky CrossFit with your Thursday, April 23rd workout. We have four pieces to get through today, including some optional Olympic lifting for my barbell folks out there. Uh, strength work for the day, number one on the board. We're looking at four rounds of strength work. No clock, no timer, I want you guys to rest as needed. And we're gonna alternate between two movements, a set of bench press, five to eight reps, and a set of a pen lay row with an underhand grip, eight to 12 repetitions. Concept on the rep range is begin at a weight that's gonna steer you towards the higher rep range, and then as you climb weight, fatigue, et cetera, through the four rounds, feel free to decrease repetitions, still only if it's challenging for you. Options on your bench press. Barbell uh, on a bench or a floor works great. Sub this for dumbbells, same concept, bench or floor press with your dumbbells. The pen lay row, you'll notice it's the same hip hinge we use for a bent over row, it's even similar to an RDL, except I'm gonna let the barbell actually come to rest on the ground each repetition, then I'll pinch back and pull or row the bar up to the waistband between the uh, pockets and the belly button area. Uh, underhand grips preferred for this. If you have only dumbbells at home, that works just as well, in which case I want you to find our gorilla style row stance. Uh, feet will be spread wide, dumbbells are at rest center of the body, but I'm gonna switch or pronate, or I'm sorry, supinate the grip underhand as I row the dumbbells up that direction. Okay, a little bit more back, a little bit more bicep driven. Climb weight through four rounds. Moving into number two for the day, this is an alternating EMOM for four rounds of work, which equals 12 minutes. Uh, we're gonna look at interval one is 15 reps of a bridge press. Interval two, 20 or 16 calorie row. If you have a rower, we'll sub that to 15 reps of a row variation from the previous uh, format. And number three, we'll look at a tricep push-up. Bridge pressing. Find the floor, tuck the shoulder blades back, drive the hips up inside of a proper glute bridge and hold. Now, get your barbell or dumbbell over the chest and perform a pressing or benching style motion, maintaining the hip uh, drive off the ground. For the row option, again, if you guys have a row or wanna sub that to other conditioning, that's fine. If not, I want you to revisit the rowing option that you hit in the, in the earlier strength, four rounds of work. Another pen lay row or gorilla style row works. For the tricep pushups, challenge the, your triceps through this, make it a more, a harder style of push-up. So I'm gonna give you the hardest option, then moving down, we're calling it a Russian push-up. And you'll notice that I started in a plank, I actually lower myself down, drop back to the forearm, shift weight back forward, and press all the way out. Feel free to play through these for roughly 30 seconds or so, accumulate 10 to 15 reps, or simply pinch the elbows tight to the body, maybe the grip is slightly more narrow, and perform more of a tricep driven push up that direction. Knees work or elevated surface as well. Number three for the day, we have a cardio core shot. So we're gonna start with the 600 meter run, budget yourself approximately two and a half, half to, I'm sorry, two and a half to three minutes of a moderate effort. Once you're back inside or in, back in your garage, three rounds of core work. The core is 10 jack knives, 15 lemon squeezers, 20 bicep curls. Then run again, another 600 meters. Looking at the jackknife, it's a full pike or V uh, center of the body, all the way up, all the way down. Lemon squeezers, forearms will be on the ground, hands are planted as I crunch and punch the, ch uh, the chest in as the legs straighten out. And then for the bicep curls, use what you guys have, barbells, dumbbells, don't overthink it, but I want you full range of motion all the way down, all the way up, little squeeze, and lengthen it back on your next repetition. 20 is a lot, so go a little bit lighter than you think. Number four, optional, Olympic lifting. Again, if you guys have barbells out there, I want you to begin with climbing weight through a rep scheme of three, three, two, two, one, one of a hang squat clean. Stand the bar up to a full extension first, jump, shrug, your body receiving a full squat, stand and reset um, as you're at the higher rep range. Climb weight throughout, maybe you run a clock between 90 seconds and two and a half minutes depending on what kind of load you have on the bar. Following that, I want you guys to run a clock for four minutes. Inside of the four minutes, as many reps as possible of a full clean or full, full squat clean with a quarter stand back down, then stand all the way up. Think about this less of a bounce and more of a controlled one and a quarter style squat that we would typically perform off of the rack, okay? So stiff and rigid, nice active body, quarter of the way up, back in the pocket, and then a full stand up. Gently set the barbell down, shake it out, regroup, and revisit your repetition. Have fun with this, guys. It's a good one, and I'll see you tomorrow for Friday.
What's up guys, Zach here at Talking CrossFit. If you haven't done so already, right below, click this link to subscribe to our YouTube channel for the latest videos and daily briefings.